Hey guys, in this video I'll be doing a comparison between 2024 Texas Pro Andrew Jacked and 2024 New York Pro Martin Fitzwater. Many of you know that these two faced off at the 2022 Texas Pro, where Andrew ultimately came out on top. You guys also seem to want this comparison, and it does make sense since both have made significant improvements within their physiques, especially Martin who was able to push Nick Walker extremely hard. With the Olympia fast approaching, I want to know who do you think has more potential to place highly? Personally, I think Andrew will beat Martin at the Olympia, however, you really never know. The front double is going to be an easy win for Andrew right away. This is because he's not losing to Martin anywhere, beats him in a very dominant manner in the areas that he wins, and he has so much size and shapeliness. Now, both present comparable conditioning, however, Martin has deeper cuts in the quads, whereas Andrew shows more detail in the arms and in the midsection. In my opinion, the only area that is close between the two are the quads, since Martin has some ridiculously large tree trunk legs, rivaling Andrew in size and having even more defined separation. That said, Andrew's structural advantages, fuller muscle bellies upstairs. That said, Andrew's structural advantages, fuller muscle bellies upstairs, and more impressive X frame all draw my attention to a larger degree than Martin does. I am a huge fan of Martin, however, he really needs peakier biceps and more upper body separation to even come close to Andrew in this pose. The front lat spread is a similar story since I believe that Andrew has the best front lat spread currently. His lats are twice as bulbous and developed compared to Martin, and he also poses more effectively in comparison. Martin could benefit from a higher hand placement which would accentuate his perceived shoulder width and reveal more of the lats. Now he does have great lats, delts, and quads along with a nice midsection, however he doesn't have anything that stands out. In contrast, Andrew is fully strided across the chest while simultaneously having fullness for days, a picture-perfect midsection with symmetrical ab separation and insertions, and massive arms and legs. Both have great proportions and symmetry along with zero muscular flaws, however the wow factor of all the intricate lines and cuts within Andrew's physique coupled with his larger frame, seals the deal for him in this pose. The side chest is where things might take a turn in favor for Martin since his density and compact muscle really shine. He's got a similarly sized side leg to Andrew but with even more of an impressive hamstring I'd say, a comparably thick arm, and a tight controlled midsection to go along with that. Now there's no doubt that Andrew is fuller and thicker in the delt and chest, and has a larger side leg on paper, However, the proportions do kind of look wonky. He isn't maximizing the visible surface area of his hamstring, his midsection looks elongated and not controlled at all, and his arm really seems to not know where to go. On paper, Andrew should win this pose since his conditioning is good, he's thicker in the chest and delt, and doesn't lose to Martin in size really anywhere. In reality though, Martin's ideal posing highlights the strong points in his physique, such as the great side leg and tight midsection, and his grainy conditioning draws attention away from his lack of fullness in the chest. While he may be smaller and lighter, his dense grainy muscle and great execution of the pose impress me a lot, so I would give him the pose. The rear double is definitely an apples versus oranges type of pose since these two present wildly different physiques. Andrew has near perfect symmetry upstairs, presenting great back development, bubbly peaked and swept arms, and nice shoulders. Downstairs, his conditioning is better than ever, with faint glute striations being visible along with some hamstring cord separation. Then you look at Martin who smokes Andrew downstairs in the glutes and the hamstrings when it comes to condition, and clearly has thinner skin in the back. He isn't the most separated in the delts or the arms, however his back has a 3D effect that really pops out at you. I'm a huge fan of his shredded lower half and I would definitely give him the win down there, However, I don't really think that his back is beating Andrew's. He certainly has a top tier back, however, Andrew has added considerable thickness and width, and has phenomenal biceps and triceps to match. I would say that this is an upper versus lower body battle, with my eyes shifting towards Andrew for the overall win. While he's not as conditioned downstairs, he looks good enough in that area, and his upper body is great. Then again, Martin has a case for winning when it comes to the objective criteria, since his conditioning is far ahead of Andrew and his upper body is extremely thick and dense. The rear lat spread is much closer than the last pose since Andrew doesn't have his amazing arms to help. 
In this pose, Andrew's lower body conditioning is once again exposed by Martin's ripped separation, and his back doesn't have the same density and thickness that it did in the previous pose. Now, he still looks good, especially in the wide lats. However, he's not as impressive as in the rear double. Now, Martin definitely hit a better rear lat spread in the past. However, he does look good regardless. That 3D look isn't as evident as in the last pose. However, he looks incredibly thick and dense in the traps and in the lower back. His width relative to his frame is also stellar, and like I've said many times, his lower body is crushing Andrews in terms of conditioning, and he even keeps up in size as well. I would honestly go with Martin in this pose since Andrew doesn't have that wow factor and sting upstairs that he did in the last pose, whereas Martin looks incredible all around, especially in the details and in that razor sharp condition. The side tricep is a similar story to the side chest since it really pains me to see Andrew incorrectly posing in this shot. While I think he angles his side leg a bit better, his arm positioning and lack of extreme midsection control hurt him. When you're kind of known for an incredible midsection and bubbly full arm, any mistake in posing them will really draw negative attention to these high traffic areas. I'm not saying that he's got any distension or a bad arm by any means. However, I know that the midsection could be razor sharp and tight, and his arm could be parallel with his body and locked out completely to maximize its thickness. In comparison, Martin poses optimally and takes advantage of his strong points. He's got a really thick, genetically gifted tricep, a controlled detailed midsection, and a nice trailing calf that adds an artistic touch to a mandatory pose. He's clearly losing in the chest delt and total arm size to Andrew, However, his superior posing brings everything into perfect proportion and balance. Now, he could showcase more width in the side leg by pressing it harder. However, all in all, my attention gravitates towards Martin. I really can't reward Andrew considering all the posing flaws. However, that is my personal opinion. The ab and thigh is an easy win for Andrew, as are most frontal poses. Just to look at the immense width upstairs and how it tapers into a tiny waist and very symmetrical midsection. He's got ideal genetic geometry in the abs, wide flared lats, and nice quads that bow back out to create a phenomenal X frame. His conditioning from the front is also extraordinary, which ties everything together. With all that praise, you would think that there is no way for Martin to compete. However, that's not entirely true. Martin is really underrated in this pose since he has all the tools to create a world-class ab and thigh, and definitely does. Now, he's not going to be an Andrew Jacked in this shot, however, he does have tremendous quads with great detail, bubbly abs and shredded obliques, and good width to create a very impressive V-taper. His only real flaw would be the somewhat wide ab split, however, it doesn't seem to be a problem in this comparison. The only real problem for him is that he's going up against one of the best ab and thighs in the history of bodybuilding, which isn't his fault. Definitely a win for Andrew in my book, however, Martin shouldn't be slept on in this pose. The most muscular is the last pose, and this is actually the closest pose of the comparison. This is definitely a true apples versus oranges shot, since both are great and could easily make a case for winning. Andrew has that wide, tall frame that inherently will draw more stage presence, along with full, round muscle bellies and great condition. Every part of his physique flows well and has a great wow factor. However, he could use thicker forearms to really complete the shot. Martin has more freak factor than Andrew, bringing that hard, grainy conditioning in the pose. I like how his chest seamlessly integrates into his delts, how the arms appear full and shredded, and how the quads are so full, yet simultaneously deeply separated. There are really no bad things to say about either in this shot, so take your pick in the comments below. If you give this to Martin, then the comparison would be a tie, However, if you give it to Andrew, it would be a 5-3 win for him. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below who you had winning this comparison. If you enjoyed, a like and sub would be awesome, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.